Good morning. I'm uh, assembling items uh, for my 17 kilowatt Honeywell generator. I'm going to be installing a oil pressure gauge and a oil temperature gauge. Uh, it's uh, the oil pressure gauge is on the left here. There's your oil pressure gauge right there, and it's going to be hooked up to the port where the OEM. Uh, oil pressure sensor is and that's the OEM uh, sensor there normally it would be into the block there so I've removed it from the block um, this street elbow is going to go where the oil sending unit was and then I'm going to put a street elbow there a street elbow there and then the original sensor will go in the end This is your line out uh, to the oil pressure gauge. Uh, this sending unit over here is a, a normally open uh, oil pressure uh, sending unit. Uh, so when the pressure comes up, uh, it will close the circuit in there and I'm going to use that um, for uh, 12 volt. Um, off of my battery uh, it's going to be that inline fuse there hooked to the positive so I'm going to use the power for that uh, you need 12 volt uh, to run the temperature switch and I'm also going to use 12 volt um, for this switch so what's going to happen is when the oil pressure comes up the switch is going to close it's going to uh, send 12 volts to the oil temperature gauge and it's also going to uh, send 12 volts to this indicator lamp which I will have on the outside of the enclosure so when the when the unit's running uh, that green light will be on and that will tell me that I've got oil pressure uh, there's also uh, instrument uh, bulbs in both both the oil pressure and the oil temperature gauge and they will also be illuminated. So when the uh, generator starts up you'll have 12 volts going to the light in this gauge, the light in that gauge and it'll also uh, operate this gauge. This is the um, street elbow and that I'm going to put in the out oil line from the engine to the oil cooler uh, that's where the hottest temperature is. Um, there's your sanding unit right there. And uh, it'll be uh, 12 volt positive going from that over to here. Uh, there's uh, three connections on the back. One is negative, uh, one is positive, and the other one is ground. So they are going to be stacked on the the, the two gauges are going to be stacked on the um, on the uh, battery end of the enclosure. Um, there's the uh, pipe dope that I'm going to be using for the uh, threaded connection. It's uh, OD pipe dope. It's uh, for use on PVC, CPVC, ABS, polyethylene, polypropylene, iron, steel, copper, and brass pipes. It's good for water, steam, oil, caustics, and dilute acid. On gases, it's good to 3,000 psi from minus 50 to plus 400 Fahrenheit. On liquids, it's good to 10,000 psi from minus 50 to plus 500 Fahrenheit. And once we get uh, going on the install, uh, we'll have a little bit more video and we'll have some uh, stills to uh, show you how it goes together. Well, this is the next day and I've got all the plumbing done. I uh, just finished giving it a uh, running test here for about 20 minutes. No leak, so plumbing's all tight. So over here on the right, that is the uh, 
oil temperature sensor. Uh, the electric uh, connector is already on it and it goes into the top of the cooler. So that's all ready to go. Uh, here's the original oil sending unit. It was up in there attached to the block. And I've stacked these two street elbows on there. So the original one is back and hooked up and that's uh, allowing the generator to uh, operate as normal. Um, this street elbow here, uh, the uh, oil pressure line is going to go in where this plug is uh, and then go to the gauge that's going to be mounted in the battery end. And this street elbow here, uh, that's a uh, oil sending unit and it's a normally open so when there's no pressure there's no uh, current going through there. So what I'll do is uh, run a fused uh, 12 volt line from the battery to one of these terminals and then the uh, other terminal will lead to the um, oil. It'll lead to all the gauges but it'll uh, lead to the uh, oil temperature gauge and allow uh, the sending unit over here to work and it'll also run the uh, instrument light bulbs in the two gauges and it'll also run a green LED that I'm putting in there uh, so when it's running it will uh, it'll be on and it'll show that I have oil pressure so now it's on to the uh, drilling of the holes in the uh, end of the enclosure for the gauges and the electrical work I already got some of the electrical work pre-done but uh, we're good for now. So it's time to drill the two holes uh, for the gauges. Uh, they're going to be stacked one on top of the other. I'm going to drill the, uh, the lower hole here uh, and uh, I'll uh, mute the sound because I'm going to have a shop vac running and you won't be able to hear anything. Clean that up a little bit, uh, get a rat tails file at it, and then I'll uh, drill the other hole. I finished drilling the two holes and I've got the gauges dry fit in there. I'm going to uh, take them out, uh, put some trim clad paint on the uh, raw metal edges of the hole, and uh, we'll let that dry and I'll continue on with uh, making the wiring harnesses. All the uh, wiring is finished. The uh, split loom is uh, put around the wiring. I've got the uh, there and I've got the oil pressure line hooked up and it runs through there and goes up to the gauge. Here's the wire from the uh, sending unit for the oil temperature. Um, as I said the gauges are in, uh, we're ready to uh, start it up and uh, do a test run on it and see how the uh, gauges and lights perform. Okay, we're all uh, we're all buttoned up here. Got all the electrical done. Uh, got the gauges in, uh, sealed off with silicone. Got my uh, indicator light there on the top corner of the uh, enclosure. So we're going to uh, start it up here and see what we've got for pressure, and see how quick it uh, takes to get the temperature up.
Here you can see is the uh, oil pressure dropped off. Uh, the lights went out. Um, it's uh, today. It's 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, that run was five minutes, and it got up to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. And you can see right at the end there that uh, at 180 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, we had 70 pounds per square inch. So I'm happy with that install. I've, uh, I've got exactly what I want now. I can uh, I can start looking at it and get a history on how it performs in the warm weather and in the cold. That's it for now.